You've got to be kidding me with this audacity. I work in a male-dominated industry. I've been at the biggest names in the market and had to deal with everything from arse grabbing to dick pics to asking for my dirty underwear. I've left businesses over the harassment and circa eight months ago had to reject the physical advancement of one of my directors after he put his face in my tits and his hand up my skirt. He was drunk and toddled off. On Tuesday this week my CEO told me there was a rumor I'd slept with a different director in the business. Apparently we were caught in a hotel room. You've guessed who this rumor came from. I am beyond fuming. Call his wife and confirm. I think you have the grounds for a defamation lawsuit. Remember how in HS there were always a girl that was the slut. Every boy had had sex with her. Even when half of the time it was lies from said boys. It put me in a rage to think that not only do girls go through that in school, but also adult women during their fucking job I'm so mad rn. Hey there. I'm so sorry you're having to deal with this. I made a similar post not too long ago about working in a male-dominated industry and my experience is quite similar to yours sadly. Sexual harassment and sexism is rampant. Some days I don't even know if I still want to work in this industry to be frank. Because the toll of it is just too much. I feel you so very much on this matter. I don't have any advice to give really all I can offer I guess is support. You're not alone in this. I've had three boys men entirely fabricate having fucked me over my lifetime. Makes me absolutely sick and angry when I think about it still. Zero ten would never bangalang any of those pathetic turds. It's a sad hard truth that these nitwits turn into grown-ass men and often don't change with passing time. It infuriates me that, when it comes to women people will believe every single rumor they hear. But for men, they'll defend with every nonsense excuse they could find until their last breath. I had this happen in a previous job. For whatever reason I decided to run with it and have some fun if he was going to start rumors about me then I decided to start to rumors about him. Did we sleep together? Well not quite. I was totally down for it but he was into some really whacked out BDSM stuff. Like he wanted me to ride him like a horse and smack him in the balls while calling him Betsy. I'm not into that stuff to each their own so I just left and went back to my own room. Sue him for defamation. He has lied about you. Damaging your professional reputation. Drag him through the humiliation of a public trial. Make him sit there next to his wife as you describe him drunkenly reaching up your skirt with no more maturity or self-control than a drunken frat boy. You should be taking this to our. Did CEO ask the other director about this rumor? The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. I have had a similar experience in a workplace. I left because the place had gone downhill so much that there was no longer anything worth fighting. For. I got another good job. However. If your job is worth fighting for, seek specific legal advice and act accordingly. Is it tech? This sounds like the average tech company to me. Also, contact HR in writing. Get everything documented and create a case. If you feel safe enough, I would take this to an employment lawyer ASAP. There are clinics you can go to to find an affordable attorney or one who will take your case pro bono. I wouldn't fuck him with a stolen dick. You need to go and post on the Legal Advice UK sub. 
This kind of behavior is 100 illegal and you absolutely can and should fuck your employer into the ground for this. You will win. Hey your old boss outed himself as a harasser and the reason you, you can get a lawyer. Definitely go to a lawyer and technically the touching is sexual assault. I was assaulted and I didn't know I should report to police not HR. I wish I knew this as it has haunted me for years. Tell your CEO that you are tired of rampant sexual harassment and that you will be talking to an employment attorney. Or just laugh it off oh. You mean the guy who got drunk at the Christmas party and grabbed my tits in front of half the company? I guess I should have filed a harassment claim after all. But absolutely put all of this in writing. Names. Dates. Names of witnesses. Even just an email to yourself can go a long way to validating your later statements if it comes to that. Maybe even ask around quietly to see if this has happened to other women. Sue for defamation and harassment. Nah one of the things I don't F with is unwanted physical contact. Report that to the appropriate parties whether in office or not. Too many times have I either seen or been involved sexual misconduct harassment. Fortunately in some cases even for a guy like me it got resolved either by firing or people sticking up for me. I hope the same can go for you as well. Lawyer. Make them pay. Document. Record. Save dates. Save texts. Pics. Times. Instances where you seeked help and nothing was done. Take it to a lawyer and make them bleed. At this point I've seriously considered wearing a wire at work. This is beyond messed up. And I am a guy. Get a lawyer. UHMMM are these incidents not grounds for lawsuits? Tell them the truth. That he got handsy and molested you. You told him off. And now he's mad about it. Congrats in advance on your early retirement. Call a lawyer. Here's what I would say. I appreciate you letting me know about this. I'll contact my lawyer so I can bring a defamation suit against him. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Lawyer up and meet with HR. Let the lawyer take the lead. So fucking astounding and infuriating that men not only feel entitled to using our actual bodies, but even to the idea of using our bodies. They slut shame and defame even if you're totally fucking abstinent just BC you have a vagina. What industry are you in where the behavior is this rampant? If you have to respond. Tell the CEO that the only sexual contact you've had with this man was when he assaulted you. Tell the CEO what he did in graphic detail. And ask if this inquiry is pertaining to whether or not you intend to press charges for molestation. If men have nothing, they have the audacity. I don't normally recommend suing. But you definitely have grounds for a lawsuit and I think you should pursue it. I've been lucky enough to find myself in a female-dominated work environment. And my days of ass grabs are now limited to my husband and he can grab whatever. Whenever. So. When I hear about how prevalent sexual harassment is in the workplace. I cringe. I'll reiterate. If you have the ability to file a suit. Please do. The more we can highlight how large this problem still is. The sooner there will be resolutions. At least I hope. I am angry for nerve. This man is a disgusting human being and becoming more disgusting every second. All I can say. You need a. Prepare yourself the next time someone degrade themselves in front of you. They deserve to be humiliated legally for what they have done.